Well, senior citizens face a lot of things that affect their independence. You know, a lot of people, you know, face lots of different medical conditions that uh, really interrupt one's existence. And they don't have to be major, but they're enough to interfere with your daily, you know, desire to live. You can't remember things, you know, uh, which then interferes again with your ability to get stuff done. Costs are going up, like for food, uh, obviously medical, uh, rent doesn't ever go down. Utilities go up, so economics is really a big issue, and you know many people now are facing some difficulties in terms of being able to have a decent existence. I think it's really important that there are places for the elderly to be. I was working in the day center, so everyone there were there because they couldn't live at home on their own and they had family taking care of them at night, um, but while the family was off at work, they needed to be somewhere when they can't support themselves. It's always just the best to have some sort of community around you. I'd like to be able to live in my house until I pass from the planet. One, because I put so much of myself into the house. And two, it's very comfortable, it's familiar. The neighborhood's important to me, it's very safe here. And, and I like the area. So let's talk about meals on wheels and other things like that. I mean, I think they're very important for older people, particularly shut-ins. So the meals on wheels give people at least a, a little more time to be independent. And I think that's kind of important. And so that's a good thing. But it's a sad thing when you think about that, you know, you have to rely on that kind of organization when our society doesn't have a very good infrastructure to manage this.